Hey what is going on everyone this is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 17 iPhone settings that you should turn on right now. Now I did a previous video showing you guys iPhone settings that you should turn off and now I will show you a few iPhone settings that you should turn and keep them on on your device. Of course these are not like they're gonna make a miracle or something but of course they will give you a better experience and more secure experience on your iPhone. So let's get started. Here are 17 iPhone settings that you should turn on. The first setting that you should turn on is the emergency SOS. So what you need to do, go ahead, go to settings, go to emergency SOS and from here you will need to enable auto call and then go ahead and set your contact right here, your emergency contact. Of course that can be your friend, your brother, sister, mother and father, anyone you want to have as an emergency contact. You should go ahead and just tap here edit emergency contact in health and then from here you should turn on the number. Just go ahead tap on the edit button and you can add any of the numbers that you have on your contacts list or just add a number here and make it your emergency contact. Another setting you should turn on is found under the accessibility menu. Now if you're on iOS 12 you will need to go to general and then go to accessibility. If you're on iOS 13 you will find it right here. Just go ahead go to accessibility and go to spoken content and from here just make sure to turn on speak selection. Now this what, what this will do is that it will speak anything for you. So for example on a message right here I can tap on this message and make it read it for me. As easy as that you can have it read anything you want on your device. This next setting doesn't have like a turn on button but is very useful and you should use it on your device. So just go ahead go to settings go to the phone settings and then go to respond with text. Now what you can do here is just basically enter a few like quick responses that you can send to someone when they call you and you cannot respond their call you can send them a quick message and you can do that from here. Now these are default you can see some written there these are default so when you get a call and you cannot answer you will get these like options to reply to them quickly but you can of course go ahead go here and just enter any text message that you want your own text message right here and then you can reply to them using your own text message not the defaults that you have right here so you have three options to write three different messages. Another setting that you want to turn on or basically use on your device are custom vibrations. So you can turn on custom vibrations by going to one of your contacts, click the edit button right there and then just go to the ringtone and here we'll find vibration and from here you can go ahead and use custom vibration. So just tap right here and you will get this like page right here where you can set a custom vibration. Now this is very useful if you want to set a custom vibration for one of your contacts so you know immediately who is calling. So all you gotta do is just tap and hold here for the vibration and you will see down there the pattern that you will basically create. Just click stop whenever you're good to go click save and then you can go ahead and name the vibration right here and you can go ahead and choose it for your contact. As easy as that you can turn on custom vibrations on your device. Another setting you want to turn on is one handed keyboard. Now this will help you type easier with one hand on your device. Now of course it has two options whether you're left handed or right handed you can go ahead and turn on that setting from the settings of your device. So just go ahead go to settings go to general and under keyboards right here you will find one handed keyboard and from here you can turn it on either on the left side or the right side and of course this will make it way easier for you to type with one hand if you cannot use both hands you will have it shrinked on the side that you want to and then you can easier type anything you want of course if you wanted to bring it back to default just tap that little arrow right there next up is reachability you can turn on reachability for your device by going to settings go to general and then go to accessibility and from here just scroll down and you will find reachability right here and make sure you turn it on. Now reachability on iOS 13 will be found on another place now you still have to go to accessibility but then you will have to go to this section right here called touch. Once you go there you will find reachability right here and of course make sure you turn it on. 
Now, if you're bothered by ads on your device and they're basically just tracking you everywhere on different sites, then you will have a way to limit it. All you gotta do is just enable a setting. Go to the settings app and under privacy right here, scroll down and go to advertising. And from here, we'll see this option, limit ad tracking. Just go ahead and make sure you turn that on and you're good to go. Another one that has to do with ads is found under the settings of Safari. So go to the settings app, go to the Safari section right here. And what you will find here is basically like an option here to enable prevent cross site tracking. What this does is that it will prevent sites, basically ads tracking you from sites to sites using the cookies and all that stuff. They will track you and you will see like basically the same ads everywhere they track you from site to site. You can prevent that using this option. Just go ahead and enable it right here. Another very important setting that you need to change in order to basically save space on your device is found under the settings of iMessage. So go to settings, go to the messages section and right here we'll find messages history. Now of course your iPhone will keep them stored and if you have like large attachments and all that, it will take up space on your device. So what you want to do is go ahead and just tap right there. Keep messages. If you have it on forever, make sure you turn it on on one year or even maybe 30 days. And what it will do is that it will automatically delete the messages after they are 30 days or one year old. And of course, remove them from your device. And that way you will save a ton of space. Here under Face ID or Touch ID, whatever device you have and passcode, there are a few options that you need to turn on, basically on the Face ID section here or Touch ID, whatever you have. Now, of course, we use Touch ID or Face ID to unlock our devices, but there are a few other options right here that you need to use, of course, to make everything more secure on your device. The first one is right here, iTunes and App Store, then you have Apple Pay and also Password Autofill. All of these have to be turned on in order for your device to be more secure. You don't want to use just your passcode to purchase something using Apple Pay or basically on iTunes or even autofill the passcodes. Better use Touch ID or Face ID. Of course, that's way more secure than just a simple passcode. Going to settings and then going to display and brighteners, right here we'll find night shift. Now I know a lot of people don't use this feature. It's a really good feature. It will basically make your iPhone better at night. So all you gotta do is just go ahead and enable schedule right here. And you can go ahead and just schedule from which time to which time you want to have the night shift enabled. You can go ahead and pick the clocks right here or you can manually en enable until tomorrow from here. And then of course you can set the temperature. Now what this will do is that it will automatically shift the colors of the display to make it warmer. And basically it will be easier for you to read or basically use your device at night time. The next setting that you want to turn on is found under the do not disturb section. So open the settings app, go to do not disturb and right here, scroll down and you will find right here active. Go ahead and tap right there and just choose automatically. Now this is a setting that you need to turn on because it will turn on do not disturb mode automatically when you're driving. And this of course will make your driving experience much safer. You won't be disturbed by your iPhone. That's really nice to have. Just go ahead, turn it from, from manual, make sure you turn it on to automatic and that's really nice to have. A very nice feature and of course will make everything more secure. The next setting that you should turn on is kind of like a hidden setting for most people. So just go ahead, go to your settings, go to general. If you're on iOS 12, on iOS 13, you go to accessibility. If you're on iOS 12, go to general, then go to accessibility and you will find right there magnifier. Just go ahead and turn it on. And what this does is that it allows you to use this very, very useful magnifier on your iPhone. Now the way you turn it on is just triple tap right here on the power button and it will turn on this really nice magnifier. Now, you need to use this to magnify on anything, to read something, or for whatever reason you wanna use this, it's really, really useful. So all you gotta do is just triple tap right here on the power button, and then of course you wanna dismiss it, just slide it up as a normal app. Next is auto lock. That is found, of course, under the display and brightness. Just go ahead, go to display and brightness and make sure you go to auto lock and always keep it on. Now, basically, this will save a ton of battery. 
a lot of times you will forget your iPhone unlocked on a table or somewhere and it will just stay like that with the screen on. This will of course auto lock your device and of course it also makes it more secure because you will f basically like forget your, your device somewhere and it's unlocked, it will stay right there unlocked and someone can get into your device. By making it like a minute or 30 seconds, you will be sure that after 30 seconds the device will be locked so you don't have to worry about it. The next setting is found under the camera section so go to settings and scroll down right here to the camera. Now what you need to do is just find grid and make sure you enable it. Now what this does is that it helps to take better pictures and also if you're taking a picture from the top like a picture of your food or something it will show you like two crosses right here. One will be yellow and one will be white. And once you have it leveled like perfectly, it will just make the two crosses yellow. That way you know you have it leveled perfectly from the top when taking a picture of anything or that you have, for example, on a table or somewhere. That's really, really useful and helps you make better pictures. The next setting that you should turn on is exclusive to iOS 13. You won't have this on iOS 12, but of course very soon everyone will have iOS 13 on their devices. So go to settings and go to Safari and from here what you need to do is just go to close tabs and make sure you turn it on after one day or one week or even one month which everyone but don't leave it on manually so what what this does is that it will basically close the tabs automatically for you now you browse the internet on safari and sometimes you leave a ton of tabs opened in the background and you just don't care about closing them now on ios 13 safari can do that for you just go ahead and turn on this setting so that's it for this video guys, these are 17 settings that you should turn on on your device. If you haven't watched my previous video on the settings that you should turn off, make sure you check out the card, you will find there the video that tells you which of the settings you should turn off immediately on your device. So that's pretty much it, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.